Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So it's uh, Tuesday afternoon. Lost track of time here. Uh, recording this to be released at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, today and my experiences and maybe some encouragement for you. Uh, so today for me, uh, second day back at work after a long trip, you know, still practicing this uh, fasting stuff. And again, we don't share this for... Um, to make ourselves look better, we share this within our group if we do share uh, to help encourage one another. So for me today, my fasting was a little bit different. I had a business meeting this morning, a breakfast with a business mentor of mine. Uh, so I ate a light breakfast with him, um, probably yeah, typical of what I'd eat, but a little lighter than what I'd eat if I wasn't out with a business person because, you know, I don't want to look like a slob and have uh, tons of food, right? So I just had a small omelet. Uh, with uh, vegetables in it and some vegetables on the side and a cup of coffee. Uh, for lunch, had nothing but liquids, um, all good. And actually, the only thing I had with any flavor uh, was about the shot size of a shot glass, right? Uh, so for dinner, uh, what I'm going to do um, really is whatever my wife puts on the plate for me is what I'm going to eat. Uh, hopefully she didn't hear me say that, but whatever it is. Um, no carbs, just straight uh, protein this evening. And so what I'm going to do is uh, just basically call lunch uh, today and a light dinner, uh, sort of my fast. And I know that's sort of cheating, but lunch lunch is legitimate. I'm starving. Uh, did spend some time on my way home seeking the presence of God, which I think is uh, obviously the focus here. Um, but after dinner tonight, I'm not going to eat a full meal. I'm just going to eat um, a small plate, hopefully. And so uh, the focus for me today uh, on the way home was just, uh, again, trying to connect with God, trying to get into his presence. And what's moved on my heart right now is uh, there's a verse in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8. It says that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's actually my favorite verse in the Bible. To me, it, it sort of stands out, by the way, in that whole section of Hebrews on its own. It doesn't really fit the context. It can't really figure out. You know, sort of why it's there sometimes. Uh, so for me, as a standalone verse, what that means to me is that God, Jesus, is the same in the past as he is to me today, as he will be in the future. And that is faithful. That is on my side. That is my father. I am his son. Uh, and so for the rest of tonight, whenever I'm focusing on spiritual things, and hopefully I'll be more sensitive, being not stuffed and full, because I'm normally eating tremendous dinners, tonight I'm not going to do that, uh, I'm going to focus on my um, identity in God, right? And so uh, I'm going to try to get closer to Him by understanding how He sees me. Who am I in His eyes? Uh, so let me pray for you. Uh, Lord, right now I just pray for those who are watching this um, Lord, help them see themselves through your eyes. Help them see themselves for who they truly are, not who they perceive they are, right? And Lord, fill them uh, with an awareness of what you've called them to do and be, uh, what you've empowered them to become, right? We're all on a journey. So Lord, I just pray that that journey will begin to be uh, spread out before them clearer and clearer all the time. I pray this in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Again, I encourage you. Um, Share, share about your experiences within this group, if you will. And uh, sorry I'm not looking in the eyes here. I've got my phone on with a flashlight. It's really, really bright. And so I keep looking more at the picture than at the lens. And it's kind of weird because I like looking in the lens rather than in the picture. And now I'm just acting weird. So I'm going to stop now. God bless you guys.